Hello. On this video I'm gonna show you how to use the original turbo decoder Audi Volkswagen Skoda Seat and Porsche with the key profile HU66 first generation locks. Usually those locks are from 2000 to 2004 and some exceptions on Skoda locks 2012, 13, 14 door locks and the uh, ignition it's uh, from 2000 till 2016 all ignitions are first generation the two come in that uh, transport box with our uh, sticker here for the version model generation and our website inside you will see small book for write the codes discovered after the opening uh, our trademark turbo decoder and our company tester key for discover lock orientation and generation setup devices to reset your pins before every procedure and the turbo decoder all in form inlay inside the turbo decoder has a key blade with that profile which HU66 and uh, pin access uh, bar and sliding pins to discover and to open the lock before you to start we recommend you to use the lock with the W40 to clean the lock because usually those locks are remote controlled and the key very very rare go in probably they are full with the grease and powder and dust you have to clean them in order out the disc to move freely inside not to get stuck or dirty the tester key will indicate you if the lock is good in good condition if the lock is your generation you need to use the turbo decoder and the orientation of the lock simply insert the tester key if you have to bump the key to insert it probably the lock is very dirty or damaged do not use turbo decoder in that case but if the tester key go easy inside clean the lock go with the tester key and look the stop point if it stop like this with those two points away from the face of the lock if it stop like this no information extract reverse that tester key in and insert again if you see a green stop point green to the face the lock is second generation in fact 2010 Skoda uh, and uh, when you see green you have to use second generation turbo decoder not first that one is not made for this lock if you have this scenario where it's far away no information reverse if you see a red stop point the lock is first generation and in fact this is one Skoda 2003 we have a red stop point now in that moment you have to look where is the orientation indicative sign and in that case will be on the right side this will be on the right when you insert the decoder with that orientation sign you have to follow the same direction I mean right let's by knowing uh, lock generation and lock orientation we are ready to go in the procedure the steps you have to follow is to reset your tool and make it ready for start pull back this wheel and rotate all the way the back wheel line will go to four and it will stop here then put the finger here to keep the blade steady and to avoid bendings when you press the pins and then with this specific HU66 uh, setup device you have to go in the holes which are at the side of your key blade just insert that in the hole with little bit inclination and go under the pin and touch and push it when the pin arrive 
to the end of its travel it will stop and you don't have to push it anymore look this a little bit will be slight also this one and this on the other side you will see the same situation go under the pin and slide it when you finish that with all eight pins your tool will be ready to to go in that moment turn to the right remember the orientation is right and that point must go to the right push to the front this wheel stay at the right and keep the tool in the middle in the middle ring insert it carefully into the lock two fingers here pull back you see those stop points one two three and four you have to follow them during the procedure apply tension on the front wheel and rotate the back wheel to the left till the line will come to the first number here turn back lose the tension check the lock tension to the other side stop at one again turn back and check the lock now you have to repeat 20 times that stop at one After 20 stops at one, if the lock is not open, you have to increase the rotation of the back wheel and point line to number two for another 20 times. If the lock is still close, go to three and stop there every time for next 20 times. If uh, no open, go to four and make 10 stops on four. If you fail to open the lock, just extract, reset and try again. In my case, I have opened it at the first number and that is ready to lock and unlock the car. Usually the first generation locks are open in the low sector 1 or 2, but, but out there you can find the locks difficult uh, with uh, too many deep cuts, they will open at 3 or 4. Now you have to extract the tool from the lock. Rotate the back wheel all the way to the right. Stay in neutral lock position and push to the front that middle ring. Only in that condition of uh, the handle you can extract the tool. Pull back, come to one because you will you have opened at one or I have opened at one. Come line to one and see the pins how they change their position. What you will see, some of them will be deep, deeper than the other. By know that, you will be able to read the code, the mechanical code of the lock. But line to one, the moment you have turned the lock. If you read it here, will be different. If you open here, of course you have read here, but in our case, we have opened at one. We come here to read. Start reading the first pin. The first pin is usually the pin from the side with the orientation point. This one is the first pin. And if you remember, when you reset the tool, you put the pin in that position. So that is mean that this position is cut number one. Next one is a little bit deeper than this. And here is a tiny line indicated indicative and you realize that this code on this pin is cut number two but this is not the second pin the second pin is this one so you have to read first pin here second here third here fourth here and so on that is the way you have to read them what do you what do you see here? Cut number one, you write on your book number one in the first position. On the second pin, you will see one again. In that case, you write on the second position one. Then follow all the chart. At the end of the eighth position, you will see the mechanical code of the lock and if you have a CNC cutting machine you can insert that code and cut the mechanical key. 
to reset or to open another lock you have to reset the tool and try another lock if you didn't reset the tool and if you come in the same lock you have the code already here and you can turn it smooth and easy let's open one ignition if you have to service the ignition lock i suggest you first open the door for generation and then go on ignition with the same tool if the door is second generation that conversation is not valid you have to use second generation on the door and first first generation on ignition let's reset the tool quickly here and here and our pins to zero right front where is go deeper that is the orientation point deeper is here on the right side you put your mark go into the ignition all the way in pull back tension only to the right because our ignition stuck to the right and repeat the same story 20 stops at one If you fail, increase the rotation, come on the second number. If you fail, go to three. And four. Nothing to do, extract, reset. For that reason, I recommend you to use first the door and go to the ignition. But if the door is damaged, you have to insist on the ignition on the same procedure. Let me try again. I don't know actually what happened with that ignition lock, but that is the procedure to, to make it turn. This is a demo lock. I don't know how much time it's have been turned. At the end of the story, you will turn it also if it's working lock. Extraction is left, right here, front and extract. And also here you can read the code of the lock. That is the way you have to use the first generation. Uh, if you have questions, just email us or Skype us. Thank you.